Good day everyone, my name is Anna and welcome to Cactus Caffeine. Today I am so excited because I will finally fertilize my cactus for the very first time this year, 2024. It is still winter but our temperatures now are consistently warmer. In the morning, the morning temperatures would be in the 60s, even in the 70s in the next few days. Though our nighttime temperature still dips in the 40s, mid 40s to high 50s, but in the morning it is really warming up and um, I've noticed a lot of new growth in my cacti already, especially those that are inside the greenhouse. In my greenhouse it is warmer, it's usually warmer than in the outside temperature. So there's new growth, new spines forming, I could see um, a lot of them are starting to plump up and even flower buds i've seen some flower buds already forming in fact i have one early bloomer here this is an ariosis nidocinillis this is um in flower right now there's two flowers that already open and then i have more buds on its way all right so that tells me that it is time now to apply my fertilizer and the very first fertilizer that I apply in late winter time or very early spring is a fertilizer that is meant for blooming. That is the very first fertilizer that I use. In the past, I've used several types of fertilizer. It depends on whatever you have on hand. But usually, a fertilizer that is meant for blooming has a higher concentration of um, phosphorus and potassium. So the three numbers here is the NPK, so first is nitrogen, and then your phosphorus, and then your potassium. So for blooming, or in case of um, those that develop fruits, you would want a NPK ratio with a higher middle and the last number. Ideally, the middle is the higher of them three. I like using tomato fertilizer because usually tomato fertilizer has a higher concentration of phosphorus and potassium. So, so like in this case, this is a 131 fertilizer. So the middle number is the higher number. The last thing that you would want to use for your cacti is a fertilizer with a high con highest concentration in the nitrogen or the first number because that will promote unusual fast growth on your cactus. So a uh, fertilizer that's meant for cactus usually has the first number or the nitrogen being the lowest. If you don't have these fertilizer, it's okay. You can use the um, regular uh, fertilizer formulated for cactus as well. I just like using these types of fertilizer, fertilizers that are meant for blooming because I found out that these are the ones that encourage a flush of flowers so if you want abundance of uh, or a flush of flowers from your cactus this is what I like using and also I noticed that if I use this fertilizer early on in spring my cactus would do repeat blooming or some of them not all but some of them like the echinopsis and the trichocereus they would do repeat blooming all throughout spring summer and even during the fall season now I have here two types of fertilizers. I have a liquid fertilizer and I also have a fertilizer in granules form. Now um, I actually already fertilized my garden last week and what I used in my gardens is this granule form. So I sprinkle this on the ground. Why? Because well first and foremost <laughs> when I was looking for a fertilizer I couldn't find the liquid type. In fact this is almost gone there's probably a teaspoon left in here i couldn't find the liquid form and this is what i found and then later on i was able to find this anyway going back to this granule i decided to use this in my garden because i knew when i applied it uh, last week we will still have maybe a couple of rainy days and so i used this in order for the rain to just naturally dissolve this in the soil so it's less work for me <laughs> than you know using a liquid fertilizer only for it to be washed away by the rain so i used this sprinkled it on the soil around the cactus and then i let the rain 
do its thing and dissolve this naturally into the soil you might be wondering why do i have a vinegar bottle here on my table it's because i use vinegar to adjust the ph level of my water ideally rain water is the best uh, water to use when watering your plants but i don't have rain water right now i'm out of rain water so i'm just using tap water and i use vinegar to adjust the ph level of my tap water to make it similar to that of rain water rain water ph level is somewhere in the five or six more on the acidic side our tap water here has a ph level of eight high eight almost nine so it's very alkaline so i use this to reduce the ph level of my water well i think it's better if i start mixing my water now and then i will continue explaining why and how i do things this is my bucket of water this is five gallons and to this i will be adding my vinegar first it doesn't have to be you know fancy vinegar any vinegar that you have i've even tried using a uh, lemon before it works if you have an abundance of lemon <laughs> like my mother-in-law has a big lemon tree so there will be a time of the year where we have an abundance of lemon so i've used lemon i've used vinegar they both work ideally it's about a teaspoon per gallon of water but right now i only placed three teaspoons to this five gallons why because i'm going to add fertilizer and a fertilizer usually makes the water more acidic right and then give this a stir usually um cacti loves acidic soil so if you use a uh, tap water with a very high ph level it will change the ph level of your soil and if your soil has a very high ph level the nutrients will only bind to the soil and your cactus will not be able to absorb the nutrients so it's useless you know putting a lot of fertilizer if your soil ph is not balanced or is not on the acidic side then the fertilizer will just go to waste and salt will build up in the roots of the cactus which can eventually kill your cactus this is the fertilizer that i will be using this has a zero nitrogen actually but that is okay because right now what i'm after is flowering producing flowers for my cactus and then towards the probably the end of spring or very early in the summertime i will do another round of fertilizing but during that time i will be using the fertilizer that is really formulated for cactus and that one will have a little bit of nitrogen in it when i use fertilizer i only use half a strength sometimes even a third of the strength of what is recommended in the package so the same for both granule form and liquid form. I do not use full strength because these are not meant for cactus. Cactus do not need a lot of fertilizer. They just need that little boost to get them going or to get them to bloom more than they usually do. I am now inside my greenhouse and I'm ready to start watering. Just like this. So this um, cacti, actually, I did not totally withhold watering during winter time. I still water during winter, although less water. And that is because I found out that here in the desert, since we have a very dry uh, climate, our humidity is very low, even during winter time. If I don't give them a little sip of water during winter, their roots die back or they become desiccated and so what happens is um, although the cactus will not die it will take them a long time to recover uh, developing or regrowing their roots during springtime that usually they do not flower because they devote their energy to growing back their roots which they lost during winter time so to prevent that what i do is i introduce a little uh, water moisture in the soil even during winter time now if you live in a place where winter is really very cold and very humid i understand that most of you withhold watering completely withhold watering during winter time and that is okay so you have to adjust depending on where you are depending on your climate this is how i do it 
And then if you totally withhold water during winter time, the first time you water your cactus in spring or late winter time, maybe you should just use a little bit of water just to, you know, encourage the roots to wake up and just use plain water i would say just use plain water do not add fertilizer yet because you do not know if the roots are already actively growing if you're going to add fertilizer you want to add it to a plant where the roots are actively growing where the plant is not dormant anymore so first time watering um, after withholding watering for a very long time I would suggest you to just use plain water and water a little bit but like I said since my cacti have been receiving water all throughout winter time I am generously now giving them water with fertilizer okay when I water I always go back do it a second and third time because uh, when the water is very or when the soil i mean is very dry usually when i water the water just flows straight down you know in between the gritty material in my soil and the organic material does not absorb the water very well so i go back and water a second and third time these are seedlings this one is echinocereus rigidissimus and then this one is uh, Trichocereus. These are seedlings. I don't expect them to flower yet. But I'm also going to use the same fertilizer. Because potassium actually promotes root development. And it helps in the overall health of the plant. So it just makes it easier for me, you know, just mixing one type of fertilizer and applying it to all of them. But if you are using an expensive fertilizer, then yes, only apply it to those that are blooming sizes already. Look at how shriveled this tallow cactus is. And yet, I already see one bud forming on it. Okay, so this is desperate for a drink. But I know that it is already out of its dormancy because of that bud on top. Alright, some of them are still very shriveled. Look at this Nodo cactus, very much shriveled. But there's also this Echinopsis that has buds forming all around it. Okay, this is one of the plants that I got from Planta Secca. This is a Socorabutia bicolor. Oh, and this matukana is already in bud. I will also be fertilizing my cacti that are outdoors. So these are the ones that spent winter outdoors the hardier ones okay see this one is um parodia and it's also one of my early bloomers it couldn't open its flower because it's still cold or at least it needs warmth in order for that flower to fully open but yep that is its third flower this mammillaria microhelia first few flowers have opened this one is Mammillaria spinosissima. I could see a crown of buds all around it. This side has started opening its buds already. But we will still water this. Ooh, more buds in here. It seems like every day when I come out and um, look at my cacti, I see more buds forming on them. And they're growing pretty fast, especially with the warmer temperatures. Like I said, I fertilized my garden earlier on. And look at this. Buds forming on top of my Trichocereus flying saucer. 
all right i still have this side to tackle i still have to water all these uh, cacti here in these racks this will keep me busy maybe for the next hour or so <laughs> and then i will again be reapplying the fertilizer that is meant for blooming one more time this uh, season maybe after on my third or fourth watering, I will be reapplying that uh, Bloom Fertilizer. After that, I will switch to my regular fertilizer that is meant for cactus, one that has a little nitrogen in it, in order to encourage growth on my cacti. All right, so don't forget guys to let me know what is going on in your garden, what is going on in your cactus collection. Are your cactus now developing buds are they blooming or are they still snoozing <laughs> let me know in the comments down below okay if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up follow me in facebook and in instagram and until next time bye guys and cheers